so in this video we are going to be making this pattern you are seeing on your screen right now so first of all you draw a horizontal line on your cardboard paper and then locate the center here is the center you see the center here so what we're going to do we're going to take a vertical line on that center so I'm going to use my angle 90 ruler to make sure the line is straight. So once I'm sure that the line is straight, I'll take a line on that center. Now the next thing to do is to pick another measurement from here to somewhere here two and a half inches two and a half inches so here is two and a half inches so now we're going to take another line at that point so I'm also going to use the angle 90 ruler to make sure the line is straight so after taking the line we are going to proceed to the next step so we take a measurement again we're going to take a measurement so we take a measurement from here to somewhere here 0 0.2 and to somewhere here 0 0.2 inch so place our tape here on that center line and then just count two lines that is 0 0.2 inch so now we have done that now I'm going to take a vent line a faint line you know what I mean so just a faint line okay so now what we're going to do next is we're going to take another measurement so before we take another measurement let's locate the center of the two and a half inches so we look at the center the center should be um about one 0.2 inches so look at the center on your tape you look at the center so you see the center here that is from here to here the center is here so we're going to take a line at that spot so um, the center is um, of that two and a half inches is about um, 1.2 inches. So let's take um, a vertical line, sorry, a horizontal line at that spot. So I'm still going to use my angle 90 ruler to make sure the line is straight. So now from here to here remember this is the half so we take a horizontal line on that spot so now the next measurement is from here to here 0 0.7 inches so um remember that is from our front line not the center line the front line to somewhere here 0 0.7 inches so hope you can see the front line here to fit this point 0 0.7 inches so let's do that 0 0.7 inches so you mark the spot and then here's the spot then let's proceed so take another measurement from here to somewhere here on that front line 0 0.7 inch again So from here to here 0 0.7 inches then from here to here 0 0.7 inches so let's take another 0 0.7 inches here so that is it so from here to here 0 0.7 inches from here to here 0 0.7 inches 
then from the center towards this part 0.7 inches after that we join the three together with our C curve So after that, the next thing we are going to do, take another measurement from here to here, 0 0.7 inches. So here's the 0 0.7 inches. Now we are going to from that point, from here to here, 0 0.7 inches. So we're going to add our second C curve. So once we are done with this one, we turn it to the other side and then we are going to proceed, you see it? So we are going to proceed with the, the D. So we are done with the C, we are going to proceed with the D. So measure 0 0.2 from the center line again and also 0 0.2 down here so just like we did on the other side so from the center line to here 0 0.2 inch and from here to here 0 0.2 inch so right now we're going to join the both of them with a vertical line So now the next measurement is from here to here 0 0.7, from here to here 0 0.7. So let's repeat the same process. So 0 0.7 inches, then come down 0 0.7 inches. 0 0.7 inches from here to here, from here to here 0 0.7 inches. So now we are also going to draw a straight line to join the boot measurement. So you see what we have. So now let's proceed. So we'll take another measurement um, from we'll take another measurement from here from up here to somewhere here under 0 0.7 then from here to up here other 0 0.7 inch so let's do that So from here to here 0 0.7 inches, from here to here 0 0.7 inches. So measure from here to here this time around is going to be 0 0.9. So the measurement from the center is going to be 0 0.9 inches. So um, here's the 0 0.9 inches. Okay. So from here to here 0 0.7 inches, from here to here 0 0.7 inches, then from here this point here to here 0 0.9 inches. So now we add 
our first C curve. So after doing that, the next thing take another measurement from here to here, 0 0.7 inches. So, so we add another curve from that 0 0.7 inch. And that is going to make up our D. Watch these two parts. You see it as you are forming your curve. So now we form the final curve, which makes up our D. So now we are going to take another measurement from here, this line to somewhere here, 0 0.2, 0 0.2 inch. So place your tape and then count two lines, 0 0.2 inch. So do the same on this part from this line here, 0 0.2 inch. So from that point we are going to draw a line so now draw your line to this point and then start from this point also draw another line on this side so you see where I stopped so turn over and repeat the same process on this side too. So after that, you take a curve, take it above here, that's above the first line. Then take it this way over to the other second line on this side and then with that you are done with this part. So from here to here should be around that um, 0 0.2. So repeat the same process on this side. So what you're going to be adding above the first line should be within that 3.2 inch again. So take note. So with that we are done with the sketch. You see it. So let's proceed. So this is what we have arrived at. Now the next thing we are going to do is to cut it into shape. So now for you to cut the center hole, punch a hole, you see it, on these two sides, then put your scissors through the hole and then start your cutting.
so you see it it is very simple so proceed with the other side So now we are done with this side too and this is what we have. Now we are going to proceed to the next step. So what we are going to do, you see this D part, you see the D part, it is going to be on this side of the last. So you have to note that when you are last. So this D is going to be on this part so this way so you place it this way hope you understand what i mean okay so now set it on your last and then cut off the excess so once you have done that this is what you have so the center line is this you see this particular line that is what is going to align with the center of your last on the instep you see this line the line for the d you see it so it is very important that you know that so that the pattern will not be chamfered. so the d is going to be on this side of the last like i said before so now you are going to create a marking dot for the line here you see this line here and this one too so this will help you to mark out this shape on your leader while cra um, crafting the pattern so we are going to make this pattern actually in the next video so this is what it looks like so follow the same steps and the same procedure and you are going to arrive at the same result. If you have any questions, drop them in the comment section. And also if you find it difficult to create your own patterns, the patterns you are seeing on your screen right now and this particular pattern, they are available in PDF and they are just going for 2,100 naira only. So it is 11 different patterns in total because I'm going to be adding this particular pattern to it. So if you are interested, make your payment to the account number on your screen. And after that, send your proof of payment to the WhatsApp number on the, the account number. And I'm going to send you the PDF. And all you have to do is just to print them out and then begin to use it so this is your opportunity to start making something perfect and also start making money as a beginner even while you are learning so don't forget to subscribe hit the bell icon to get updates as soon as any video is dropped have a nice day and i'll see you in my next video